Hello Pisces, how are you guys? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Before we get into your reading Pisces, I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, sorry, had to take um, a sip of my coffee. It's been a very long night. It is 4.28 a.m. We just finished spell work about an hour ago and we are doing the videos now, so forgive me if my voice sounds a bit um a bit tired <laughs> oh went completely blank there for a moment okay how are you doing pisces hope you guys are doing amazing i hope you guys are as excited as i am for the holidays the holidays are finally here we start celebrating on my side since halloween so um pretty stoked about the holidays anyways hope you guys are doing amazing I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations you can now go to our online store and purchase the 30 minute telephone consultation or the video live reading we decided to make it a little bit more proactive and um as you guys know we are at the end of the year so it's the busiest season for us we are now booking for december and january as soon as those uh, time slots become um filled we you guys won't be able to uh purchase any more consultations until further notice so just giving you guys a heads up uh limited availability is unfortunately uh the reality of it so i just want to give you guys a heads up all right let's get into your reading pisces spirit guides ancestors and archangels please step forward allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for pisces sun moon rising and venus what is the messages that they need to know at this present time? What is unfolding for them for this month of November? What can they expect? Give us clarity and insight. Allow us to guide our Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is unfolding for them? Spirit guides, ancestors, and other angels. Give us clarity and insight. What can they expect for the month of november okay here we go pisces your first card is the princess of pentacles the ace of pentacles the seven of wow a lot of pentacles here the prince of swords and the judgment card okay for some of you pisces you may be dealing with earth energy taurus capricorn virgo for others of you, I see you guys very focused and determined when we're talking about career and finances. Now, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, there will be an opportunity that arises in the month of November. There could be some type of move, some type of offering, um, some type of transition here where you're kind of hesitant um, or debating uh, what choice to take or what decision to make. So for some of you guys, it could be... Um, feeling like you have to choose um for others of you it could represent getting a higher level position uh or a position with more authority um as well as better income uh, i do see here with the princess of pentacles and the ace of pentacles you guys have been working really hard um towards trying to stabilize your finances and i feel that the month of november is going to be very fruitful in that aspect with the ace of pentacles there's definitely new beginnings but this also speaks about um getting to the point of feeling like you're finally being able to see uh the fruits of your labor uh for others of you this could also represent um like i said being able to see um the effort or the results uh in regards to the efforts that you've been putting for some of you guys, it can also mean that you've been on a journey, whether it's a journey in regards to uh, stabilizing your health or becoming more, more self-aware when we're talking about how you present yourself to the world. So for some of you guys, it could be changes in the month of November where you decide to get a makeover. For others of you, it could represent like upping your style, your look, um, that type of energy pentacles does represent the physical body as well. So um, some of you guys could be like you've been on this new regimen or on this new diet 
and you're finally being able to physically see the results of that hard work and hard labor. So I see you guys very content in the month of November because there is manifestations that are unfolding for you. Now with the Princess of Swords, um, I do see that there is a need to let go of past ideas or past behaviors. Um, it's, it's almost like a, a realization of something here um, when we're talking about uh, life in general. It could be almost like a realizing certain aspects about ourselves. Um, okay, so I'm getting for some of you guys, it could represent like becoming more self-aware of what it is that you're wanting to bring into your life and like going towards it without any distractions. So it could be that in the past, uh, a lot of the things that you started, you wouldn't really see results because you had difficulty either seeing it like completely, um, seeing the things or putting the effort towards uh, your new endeavors. It's kind of like the scenario of starting something getting to the point of frustration because you're not seeing any changes so you kind of give up and go on to the next thing so what they're telling you is for the month of november it's going to be very important and very crucial anything that you start that is new whether it's connections uh in regards to love and romance whether it's uh, career projects uh, new endeavors um anything anything absolutely anything that is new um, what they're telling you is really stick to it so that you can fully see the manifestation and the results. So basically what they're telling you, Pisces, is don't give up. You can't continue uh, starting things without being able to, you know, see it through completely because then you'll continuously keep feeling like you're not really seeing results. And the reason for it is because you give up right before the manifestation happens. So again, it's about staying laser focused on what you're wanting to achieve, what you're wanting to attract, what you're trying to manifest into your life and believing it to the point of putting the effort and energy towards maintaining that focus to be able to fully see the results. Um, so anything that you start this month, do not give up, see it through all the way so that you can see the results of that. Now, we also do have the judgment card here. So for some of you guys, it's almost like, the judgment with the Prince of Swords could represent like uh, some type of feeling, some type of feeling of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some type of embarrassment in regards to past behaviors. Um, so this could be like as an example in relationships, right? If there is almost like a tendency of, not being able to fully commit yourself 100% to the relationship, either you or your partner. It's almost like you're coming back around trying to give them another opportunity, but not really wanting to announce it because there is fear that you may end up in the same place where you started, meaning you there may be another breakup before there is um, any type of stabilization. So it's almost like a reoccurring type of cycle that's happening here for those of you guys that are dealing with a situation where there is a breakup and a going back with each other, a breakup and a going back with each other. It's like what they're telling you right now is if there is any reconciliations for you guys in the month of November, don't go announcing it. Um, let them prove to you through actions that this time it's going to stick, that they're willing to make the commitment 100%, um, because I do see you frustrated or even annoyed um, that you put it out there um, or that there is, that you make the reconciliation public and then there's some type of feeling frustrated because you're embarrassed once again. So again, if you are dealing with this type of situation, don't go announcing it, don't go putting on your profile, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, uh, the breakups and the reconciliations, because it's almost like people are just looking at you because of the drama or the drama that is ensuing or the tendency that you have to pretty much put your life on display. Don't do that. Uh, keep it more private in the month of November, not only because of screw everyone else, right? They shouldn't know your business anyways, but again, 
so that you can like weed out the bad the bad friends or the people that like to pretend like they care but they're really just sticking around for the drama so be mindful of that as well in the month of november i want to wish you guys the very best and don't forget to hit and subscribe um and we'll see each other soon till then bye